Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and we are on a streak, a mighty streak of one. We're sort of on a streak right now of playing vanilla characters and playing tainted vanilla characters mainly to try and get completion max going. And I've been I've been thoroughly enjoying that thus far. We've still got Lazarus that we need to play here. Uh yeah, let's 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 play as uh, tainted Lazarus. He's a character that uh, he's obviously had issues. He's better now than he was. I still don't think he's the ideal character. Um, we'll, we'll pop this now to get both of these. Yeah, I still don't think he's an ideal character. I think he definitely has some issues. Um, but he can be kind of fun. It's an interesting space to like split the items between one another. Um, but it can definitely lead to some specific issues with like <clears throat> not having that shared health pool and stuff. And yeah, it can, it, can, it can be a bit rough sometimes. Now, this is actually quite good here. Um, so now we've got soul heart protection for this guy here. But yeah, we'll keep on moving on and see how we go. What what what's, what character did you do you think in Isaac? This is question of the day, by the way. What character do you think in Isaac kind of suffered from um, some development issues and maybe could do with some reworking and tweaking? Because they've, they've tweaked a few characters down the line, like Lazarus and Blue Baby have all received tweaks. Is there any other characters that you still feel... A warranting of some tweaks. I th I've probably asked this question before, but I'm gonna ask it again because I don't remember whether I've asked it before and it's topical to what I'm currently talking about. By the way, I really like the fact that we got the finger on this guy. I don't think finger scales with your damage at all, but it's still nice to have that slight excess damage to play along with. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, the extra rooms here um, just to get the extra flip charge so that we can use it on the boss item. I think you can use flip on boss item. I can't entirely remember. It's been a while since I played this guy. Because I, I actually, when I did my first Dead God, I completed all this guy's completion marks um, prior to him being buffed, I'm pretty sure. Or at least most of them. Um, so, I haven't really played the new version of this guy all too much. Oh, I changed there. I didn't really want to change, to be honest. Bomb this and see what we get first. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that soul heart there. Um... We'll leave that soul heart there to grab as our other form when we flip. Hmm, wait a minute. That's not going to work. Okay, just whatever, whatever. Just go through here first. It's not going to work the way I wanted it to, but that's fine. We're also not playing as the ideal guy for this fight. I might even just take it as this guy now we've been hit, to be honest. Honestly, having Rainbow Baby here, Rainbow Baby's pretty good early on. Those extra status effects can really make a difference. Yeah, we'll definitely pick up the soul heart with this guy now that I've uh, shat ass down the drain, so to say. <clears throat> By the way, I do apologize for clearing my throat a little bit. For some reason, I tend to do this a lot where I'll record a video um, right after having just eaten. Um, I'll just take it on this guy. So we don't we don't get to flip on the boss item. I, I kind of had a feeling that was the case, but I wasn't 100% sure. Um... Ideal. Uh, right. Okay, there isn't actually... This isn't going to work the way I want it to. So you're just going to pick up that. The other guy's going to have no soul heart protection, which I do not like at all, but it is what it is. I don't want to waste my flip charge, really. I should have planned this out a little more. This guy's now got tiny tears, but really good damage, which is kind of intriguing. And um, we'll just head down regular path. I don't want to make things harder for us by going alt path at this point in time. We'll see what we can put together here. But we are really trying to build a streak here, if plausible. Um, but yeah, this guy's going to kind of wreck everything. He's got quite a lot of damage on his side. Other guy has just a little little rainbow baby and not much else. But yeah, if we can manage to grab ourselves um, some soul heart protection from one of these rooms, this would be ideal. But I'm not going to bank on that happening because I just don't think it will. But we're killing things reasonably fast here. We do have like Isaac base stats. It's not like it's lower than that. Um, charge key. Charge key is really good to know about, actually, because uh, it means we can get an extra flip in if we want. An extra flip sounds good to me. Secret room is likely to be here. There you go. Um, and that is kind of intriguing, actually. Double golden keys there. Um, potentially, if we get flight, we can get over there. Okay. Rainbow Baby 10. One of these guys charmed and kill everyone, everything for me. Nah, he's not going to do that. It's fine. Uh, we do have the ability to bomb into this double key room, which is real nice. It saves us some uh, saves us some keys, of which we only have two right now, so I'd rather do this. 
intriguing room. Um, I will go for this. I realize it's not the ideal character to take damage like that on, but I will go for that. Um, and in that case, I will also take this, which gives a black heart in return, which I probably should have saved for my other character, thinking about it now, but what's done is done. Um, and we'll keep on moving. Try and do our boss relatively soon here. But yeah, this guy is going to absolutely smash everyone to pieces. We can keep, the, keep our distance from these enemies here and use finger to deal the main brunt of our damage. Item room here, a first flip usage of this floor. We have Brownie, which of course all of you know that I don't like. And we also have Sinus. This is tricky. I hate Brownie. You all know I hate Brownie. But I think I'm going to take it anyways. <laughs> I could also throw a bomb down there and re-roll, but honestly I don't want to re-roll. So let's take that and then flip over and take Sinus. I just think that Sinus is so good I don't want to re-roll. Um, and Brownie's hella annoying, but the damage up is always too tempting for me and I'll never not take it. But also taking on the Soul Heart guy means I've got a little bit more leeway to get hit if that ends up being how that pans out. We'll hope we don't get hit too much, but yeah, this guy has really good damage now. He's pretty awesome. We are going to be fighting the boss's Soul Heart guy as well, so as long as we don't get hit in this room, we're fine. I think we'll be okay for, to be honest, based on these enemies. There you go, and yeah, like I said, we're fighting with Soul Hearts, so there's not much chance of us losing our Devil Deal here. Um, so let's just let's just go ahead and take this on. And we are fighting as the higher damage guy as well. Unfortunately, that does mean we have to deal with Brownie here, which is not ideal for micro dodging. But a boss like this, not particularly bad. Only one dash makes things easier for us. These are pretty easy to dodge. We can actually use our, our corn mines here to block shots, as I just saw there. This is good for the plus two soul heart. I think I'll take that. And I think I will check out Devil Deal. I don't remember if you can flip Devil Deals or not. I'm going to be kind of peeved if you can because there's a battery in that previous room that I didn't pick up. You can. Bollocks. Um... Hmm. We'll take two spooky. We'll just take two spooky. A little annoying that I, I kind of whiffed that there. There was a battery right there I could have gotten. There's a charge key back over there I could have used as well. Not ideal on my behalf. Eh, it is what it is. I'm just going to leave. Definitely missed out on some stuff that floor, but whatever. It is fine. It is fine. But yeah, having sinus infection on this guy would means that taking fire rate ups on this guy is going to be more important than the other character. Um, especially with him already having damage. That was... Wow, that was a really quick way to lose a black uh, soul heart or black heart there. That was really shocking. I, I, for some reason, just didn't think about how those enemies function and just kind of ignored what they were going to do and kind of just sat there and took it. Really wasn't the ideal methodology to, to, to work under there, but what's done is done. I do like having um, two spooky here for enemies such as these. Makes our life a lot easier. Golden key, lovely. Secret room is here. Go and we'll. Doesn't matter which one of these we take, so. This one. I mean, not like we could have gone for the other one, but you know what I mean. They're both gonna give us one normal chest. It's not like one side was better than the other. It's not like we got unlucky or lucky. But yeah, definitely want flight on this boy if that uh, becomes something we can grab. Removing the downside of uh, Brownie would be very, very nice. Ooh intriguing room. Unfortunately, we have soul heart health right now, so it's not ideal. Good. So far, I think this run's decent. And this run is decent. We've got really good damage on one guy, at least. Um, oh, we got Hedonist Cookbook as well. That's awesome. We all know how good that is. 120 Volt, I think, kind of pairs nicely with Finger and stuff as well for that extra bit of damage. I don't mind that at all. And yeah, Hedonist's, Hedonist's cookbook is real goddamn good. It can absolutely decimate some rooms. And if you get it with like 9 volt, it's kind of game over for regular rooms. Makes life a hell of a lot easier. Um, Yes, I think I'll take it as you. I was debating who would be best to take this as then, but this makes more sense. 
But yeah, 120 volt, it does have a slightly off activation range. Sometimes it doesn't quite activate where you think it would. Oh, also, Hedonist Cookbook is always going to be available every time we play as this character. Just because of um, the fact that it charges up even when we're not playing as this guy, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, like, it's still going to gain one charge here. So, next room, it'll be available again, I think. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So, every single room we play as this guy, this, this is always going to be available to us, which is kind of great. Ooh, and we do get even more damage. And there's Berth right there as well. Um, which... I don't know how this works. I'm definitely going to buy this, but does the Berth... Before we do, before we do, let's, let's try and get some money first. Just because I'm not sure if I have to buy both sides or not. I don't think I do, but there's no donation machine there. So I'd like to try and get some more money first, just in case that is the way that works. Which, I don't think there's much money to be gained on the rest of this floor, I'll be honest, but... Also, I'd like to take the damage up as this guy, actually, and then Bearthright as the other guy. I can't remember what Bearthright does as these characters, I'll be honest. But let's let's take um, Champion Belt at least. And then flip. Bearthright is there. The non-active form appears as a ghostly second character. He is invulnerable and deals 25% damage. Both forms receive Bearthright. Okay, that's pretty awesome. I like that quite a lot. Um, so now we, we basically work in tandem, and we've made this character... Significantly better. Significantly better. Oh god, they do get a bit out of place from one another because of the uh, slidiness. Isn't ideal. But this what it is. And we get GMO. Uh, I, I do want this for the max HP and stuff. This could screw us over with the pills. No? Pretty, pretty good stuff overall there. And um, we go down to the next floor. Pretty good stuff overall. I'm pretty happy with how that went. Would have been nice to get car battery there for our um, active item. Uh, but, eh, whatever. Fine. But yeah, now both characters have pretty good damage, actually. Um, we're both sitting at around 7. Six point four five. You saw. You see what I mean? To get rid of those two lads... Yeah, the, the, the corn poop thing is going to get us off kilter. Like, our characters get out of sync really easily, which is annoying, but it's fine. Bollocks. Bad damage there. Still don't really understand the point of Blood Void machines. I'll work them out eventually. I don't like the noise these things make. What the fuck even hit me then? What the hell was that? Blowing hourglass back there. I'll just take that as you. Why not? I don't know what the hell hit me then. Was it a bubble that was just hanging about that I didn't see? I'm going to guess that was. That's what it was. But yeah, overall, now that we've got Birthright, I'm, I'm way more happy with how this run is going. Aha, you got feared and didn't fire at all. It is slightly confusing, like I said, with our characters getting... Not on the same page because of the brownie thing. Oh, it also means that brownie affects us both now, I think, which is not ideal. I'm pretty sure we can brownie as both characters now. Yeah, we can. We can brownie as both characters. That's slightly unfortunate. It is what it is. Um... Go like that, and then like that. It's not a great active item, but it's free. Why not? Can use it to kill a boss here and there, I guess. But at the minute, we're kind of speeding through the game at this point. I'm going to try and stick close to these guys to get the electricity going. Back here, dastardly fella. Good, good. Extra soul heart there. I'll save that for my other side, I think. It's more well spent on him. Ah, oh, I used it not knowing these guys were currently invincible. 
That's very much a bummer. Good. Yeah, go back. Grab that soul heart. Good, good, good. Card here is High Priestess. We can use that on a boss potentially. Okay. Not too hard at all on those guys. We've got our cookbook ready as well. I really like the cookbook. It's one of my favourite actives in the game. Favourite book actives especially. Seeing which players wear is getting slightly confusing. We do have High Priestess and our active available for this boss fight, so I'll use both. Not that the, high, uh, the BFF boy will do much, but we'll try it. Yeah, he unfortunately whiffed very hard there. <clears throat> kind of expected, to be honest. Good, good. And we got the egg, which doesn't matter who gets that, really. We did get a D6, though. Glass D6 is rather nice. Okay, keep it going. Keep it pushing forward. Keep it rolling. Definitely going to big rooms with the cookbook first, because it makes big rooms an absolute jerk for the most part. Again. What the fuck's hitting me? I got hit twice there. By, by what? Was it... Was it the creep that's the exact same colour as the creep I produced by, by any chance? Because if it was, that's a little bit evil. Why did I take brownie? It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> Why do I always do this to myself? It's, it's worse than guillotine in every way, shape and form. I, I couldn't get out of the way then because I was slipping too much. It's horrible. It's not worth a 1.5 damage up ever. Why would I do this to myself? Why would I do this to myself? Been on point with secret room findings so far, which is nice. Not a good secret room, but still. Nice. <clears throat> Cookbook is ready again. Little small enemies work. It's sad that it doesn't kill the champions too, but I obviously get why not. Golden key, a luck penny in there as well. We've been get getting a good amount of luck here. Fortunately, I think one of our guys starts with negative luck, so getting a bunch of luck doesn't really do much for us. Oh, bollocks. Oh no, I'm good. Kind of scary, but I made it. Overall, do not like this room. Overall, do not like this room at all. Dude, you need to appear somewhere I can shoot you easily. Okay, apparently I killed you somehow. Gotta be honest, don't really know how I did that. Okay. Item room, item room, where art thou? Twenty volts working for us there. Run my ghost into them to one twenty volt, and it's kind of a good tactic to be honest. Good. Your grace, you'll die very quickly and give me a key. Thank you. Where's that item room at? There we go. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Try and 120 volt on where I can. Fear's doing good as well. Flatstone, we'll just take, and the other one I just do not care about whatsoever. Flatstone does have more synergies now, but yeah, I don't care about flipping for that at all. Um, yes. Wait. Okay, so first of all, definitely grab this. And then grab this. 
And then, yeah, we want to grab this as you. Wait, no, we'll do one more room. We'll do one more room before we grab that. Get out of here. Right, okay, cool. Then we grab this as you. Then we flip and we grab this, of which is more valuable. But we need to have it available in the devil deal to be able to fully utilize it, which is slightly annoying. We need to go in as the other character and bite, bite the boss as the other character, which is going to work this time around. Uh, I see, I see. I was a little confused there, but... Don't worry, my brain isn't too small today. Cool. Right, so we go in, we fight this guy as him. We can hopefully do some good damage here. Stay mostly out of the way of all of your attacks. Ah, oh, right into some... Creep there, my bad. And then we get this. And then we don't have flip available again, my bad. Uh, but we have to come in here and we get to do this. And of course, it gives us the wrong goddamn one. I'm still going to take this. It's still really goddamn good. Um, and I'm just not interested in that at all. Okay. And now this guy's on real low HP now. So we give him this extra soul heart here. And we're going to have to prioritize giving him HP in the future as well. I think overall though, not too bad, not too bad. Was able to use coupon there and it do something for us. Unfortunately, that something was mostly useless, but it was something. But yeah, the amount of power we get from all these locusts is really nice, especially if we get any way to generate blue flies down the line, which isn't super uncommon in this game. It's funny how the one with less damage has way bigger tears now because of the sour patch thing we, we picked up. Good. It's nice that we can still get bugger shots even when not playing as the one that actively has bugger tears as well. I like that. Flip is going to be ready any second here. Good. Um, I think both of these are pretty good, actually. I don't think I need to reroll either. Nancy bombs can be real good. And um, these scuzzits or whatever you want to call them that spawn are real good anyways. Stars. Now we don't need the stars. Not useful after this floor anyhow. But yeah, we found the item room nice and quick. We're kind of doing some speedy runs recently. This looks secret roomy to me. Sadly, I was wrong for the first time thus far. What? How did that not work? All the enemies were there, but I suppose they hadn't technically spawned in yet. That was just their animation to let us know. They were in the room. My bad. Shouldn't have been so hasty. have been so hasty. Another card here. Three random hearts could be real good here for us. Eh, sadly not. Sadly not. Beautiful. Are the locusts go invisible when we change character? But do they still do stuff? I don't, I don't really know. Either way, I think this is... We got, we got a good run going here. Birthright just automatically makes everything better with this character. That's our shop if we want to use it, although at the minute I don't really think we need to. I suppose we could potentially buy a soul heart. We can buy a soul heart. We can also buy nine volt, which we don't actually need anymore, but still. Um, I'd like to switch before I buy the soul heart, though. Very much so. That's one of you. I was wondering what the hell that shaking was about. Oh, okay, that was the, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. That was really close. Okay, another soul heart here. 
puts this character in a way better standing for us. It's a five soul hearts overall. That's pretty good. 21 bombs is good as well. I guess we could try out some of this. You see? Perfect. Very valuable indeed. So many chests at the moment. Don't even have that good a look. Oh my god, 120 volts saved my ass then. Not quite that time. We are unfortunately going to flip to the wrong character here to use, um, what's it called? I don't know, whatever, it's fine. we got Mother now. Take her on, nice and easy, shouldn't be too bad at all. It's just going to be the slip and slide and that makes things more difficult. Depends how often that happens to us. Ow. Yep, the slipping and sliding has hurt me deeply there. Just about got it. Soul heart for you. And... I guess just take the Polaroid here. Okay, down we go. I'm actually more worried about my other character now. The one that has red health. Because he got kind of a... Took, took a little bit of beating on that mum fight there. We'll see how that goes. Overall, this run is... It's it's decent. But I feel like it's missing something. The An intriguing room, so to say. Oh, dude. I tried to get out of the way, then it wouldn't let me. This room's taking a while because of the slippies. Slippies are making it a lot harder. Just, what, like, the problem for me is, why does it have to produce so much of the slippy juice and so often? Like, couldn't it just, like, chill out a bit and not produce quite as much? It's so obscene how much it creates. Also, new chub is real goddamn cool. Does he still eat bombs, do you think? I tried. I missed. But I tried. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know how Chub works. It's so new to me. It's foreign. That's probably better for us right now because of the uh, locusts. Oh god, this room's gross. You know what? This room's so gross. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Big no thank you on that one. And what are you doing? Full charge there. Doesn't do much for us, does it? A red health at least. Little bit, little bit of safety there. And we do indeed have our boss here. You can't have much more life left, man. Oh god, what the fuck's happening here? Oh lord, this is too much. Okay, we got him, we got him. It's a bit worrying. Oh, there's another tree guy up here. I was wondering why there was still more of those spawning. Okay, one, one bomb did him in. My, my um, Locus of War get an anti-bomb effects, so it got Brimstone Bomb there. Oh, dude. I'm taking a beating here. These characters... It's, it's not even these characters. Brownie's just the worst. It's just Brownie's fault. Never take Brownie ever again. Why do I always think it's okay to take Brownie? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Why do I always think it's okay? It's never okay. Oh, I still got hit there. And I got hit as the other character as well. Okay, we are we are in a rough spot for this guy right now.
we are in a rough spot for this man. It's okay, we can we can persevere. We can keep this minor streak we have going alive. Just about to say, as long as we can go the right way, and I immediately went the wrong way. Nope, the slippies. Oh, god damn. I, I almost slipped into that cross shot us fire line there. I do not want to. I do not want to see you. God damn it. Oh, god damn, I think we've I think we've got a it's it's it's, it's a weird one. I think this is always the case with Tainted Lazarus. This runs like pretty goddamn good. But it's just, ah, uh, if some of the items were on both characters and stuff and we didn't have some of the items we do, Birthright definitely helps with that and alleviates some of that pain. But not all of it. These things always hit me. Managed to dodge them there, though. Come on, now. The rooms are getting harder and harder. And we are getting more slippery and more slippery. See, even it's kind of worse when I'm playing as the other character because the slippies don't appear where you expect them to. So I'll think it's clear then just walk into some slippiness and get screwed over by it. Oh, dude, how did I get hit there? At least we got one guy looking good and healthy. The other, not so much so. God damn, these enemies are so laggy for some reason. I think it's because like each bit of their connected neck counts as like a separate entity. The game really doesn't like it. I'm trying my best to hit these things, but I'm sliding all over the place. Oh wait, why didn't I just do that from the start? Oh, stupid. I didn't realize I could do that. My bad. Okay. I'm dead in two hits as this fella, which I'm not hopeful for right now. I'll be honest. The locusts are lovely. But I'm still very wary. Oh, that's very nice. Oh! Bollocks. Again, I think I slid into an enemy there. Used up all of my locusts here. Give me explosive locusts. Come on. Just the orange ones. I only want the orange ones. Interesting room design. Tried to see if a bomb would help there. It kind of did, actually. Don't know why I'm picking up money at this point. I really don't need it. Okay, so what's going on with these guys? Then we can deal with these guys, right? Not really, but it kind of went alright somehow. Yeah. These guys aren't too big of a threat. This guy is because of his splits when he dies. Okay. Wasn't too bad this time. Kind of would like to play that chest out, because you normally pair it with more health than you put in, but it's still a little scary. Oh, dude, did you see that dodge then? That was crazy. Like, slyly weaved between. Ooh, and we get Brainworm here. Brainworm's a good grab. Brainworm makes things slightly easier for us. Up to full health on this guy. But not the ideal guy to be fighting this boss as, I think. Oh, actually, I don't know. We get more damaging bugger tears, and that's pretty good. You don't stay there forever, but you stay there for a good amount of time. We've actually done a really good amount of damage to you. And honestly, getting hurt to use those brimstones there, pretty valuable. But unfortunately, this attack again, which I still find to be a, a, a really off attack. It's a really cool attack that just lasts too long, I think. That time, maybe, maybe they have shortened it, because that didn't feel like as long as, now, as the last time I fought her. There you go, we got Tom Page unlocked, rather nice, and we go straight up. I ain't doing, I ain't doing no delirium in this state. I will definitely die. Let's see what we can make it. With the little health we have available here, which, yeah, isn't much. Oh, God. As I said, not ideal. It's, it's, it's the brownie. It's the brownie. It's, it's screwing me. I will never forgive brownie ever again. Why do I... Why? Why do I always like this? Ow. 
It'll never not be Brownie's fault. You are taking some crazy damage, though. I like I like that. The brown, ah, oh, the brownies, the boogerty is sorry. Doing fantastic work. Ooh, we got a zealot heart here. Zealot hearts are pretty rare. Um, I'm not going to come back for it, and it might count as extra HP, so I'm just going to take it as this guy. Hope for the best. But zealot hearts, basically, if we keep it alive to the next floor, we get a lemma get and wisp on the next floor. Pretty good stuff. Pretty strong. But obviously, it's one of those hearts that is always taken first. So my next hit will always be taken. Unless obviously we're playing as this guy. Oh my god, dude. This guy's getting pretty low on health as well now. Every single time, it's always been brownie. Fortunately, our flies don't do much against enemies that split up like this. Oh god damn it, lost the zealot heart. But I would have died there otherwise, so... While I've got invincibility, I'm trying my best to use a 120 volt. No, brownie! How dare you. That... It was bound to happen. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.